Hello, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. So today in this video, we will be creating an FAQ bot uh, using QA Maker and Azure bot service. And this bot uh, will be of uh, our most famous site C Sharp Corner FAQ. Uh, so let's uh, open up QA Maker that is QA Maker.ai. I have logged in with my account. Click on create new service. So let's give the service name as C Sharp Corner FAQ. We can change this name going forward. This is just our database or you can say a knowledge based server reference name. Uh, this is uh, the URL for FAQ section. This is over here. This is the URL. Okay. Um, also, we will be uploading one file. Uh, now I will explain you or I will just go through uh, about that file. I have just created one uh, uh, C sharp corner uh, with the name C sharp corner bot uh, document doc file word file and have written some five to six uh, questions. It's just in a simple format question and answer. Uh, we'll go through this question and answer once we upload this file as a source to our q and maker. Click over here select file. Uh, let's go to the more keyboard and C sharp corner. So I've added this file. I have added the URL and let's click on create. Great. So in less than two minutes, we just created our knowledge base for C sharp corner FAQ bot. Here's the question. Uh, this from my doc file and these are from the url so let's once click on save and train and let's go to test to test this bot okay so there is hi hello so i want something some different uh, greeting message uh, let's have this written it over here so if someone greets, let it be like this. Hello, welcome to C Sharp Corner. And let's again save and trim. Don't uh, ever skip this step. Let's go to test. Great. So I want not only as high but also hello. Mm, hey. Uh, Hey. Mm. That's it. Again, the same thing save and train. Now, if I click on hello, great. Uh, hey, great. So, we are getting, we can also check uh, who is the founder of C Sharp Corner. Mr. Mahenshan and it's a visit uh, visit his profile page the right answer we can also type like may I know the founder of this site it could be uh, the user can ask anything like uh, C sharp corner founder that's it. Only such type of questions could be asked. So let's just train it with some answers. Again, something. Who created this bot? Okay. Bot created by whom? So you can see I'm just trying to train or I'm just trying to modify this knowledge base like how and how the questions can be formed or anything. You can keep updating this knowledge base uh, with the uh, further experience. Who created this bot or uh, that's it. Let's not get much into it right now. We have given enough knowledge base for it. So we are ready with our knowledge base let's click on publish 
so from the side it is there were 11 questions the co the doc gave it 10 and we added something uh, the questions which we added during the test is also being considered as a part of a new row itself uh, you can uh, we'll see it later or we can say it right now no problem just go to my services here's our web uh, our bot click on edit the Spain icon and you can see okay so this where this is what we added and below also we added this right C sharp corner founder who is the founder please tell more about and all those things so it just got added to this and once we click on publish it is ready so we um, it gives an URL see it uses a cognitive service QNA maker so it gives a subscription key and the app ID and now uh, the endpoint is ready for our database so let's consume uh, or let's add it to our um, Azure bot service go to portal.azure.com click on new AI plus cognitive service and bot service so for this as a prerequisite you need to have your Microsoft subscription account it could be free account not an issue C C sharp corner bot okay has let's use or uh, you can create a new user resource group uh, I'm giving an existing one this app service plan let's spin it to board and create so this will take a few few seconds to get deployed and then we'll see how to authorize our QNA maker or uh, C sharp corner knowledge base with our Azure bot service as you can see it's only six to seven minutes we are into and we have already created a database a huge a uh, strong knowledge based database with our existing uh, URLs and with an external talk source so now it is created cool so it has some predefined templates for C sharp and node.js uh, with question answers or a single dialect box and all let's go to question answers I've selected C sharp question answers and click on next let's create a Microsoft app ID for this I'll click over here so that it will redirect to redirect me for some some different page wherein I will be getting this uh, app ID as you can see C sharp corner bot let's copy this app ID and paste it over here let's go back click on this button for creating the password app password let's copy it and paste it over here add agree to the terms and create bot so this step now it opened up our QA maker and you can see our C sharp corner FAQ knowledge base will be listed over here select that C sharp corner FAQ knowledge base and click on ok so from now it will take fewer minutes to get provision uh, provisioning our bot it will add some application insights uh, insights to it and then it will deploy it will just uh, take fewer minutes it's deployed the app inside now it's wrapping up the deployment so once it is deployed it will land up to this uh, page where we where wherein there are build channel settings tab uh, we can also uh, test it right away in this uh, portal uh, let's give it as hello great uh, who is the founder great so uh, so let's click on build once again let's close this test so here's the open uh, online code editor uh, where you, wherein you can uh, change the code or you can see the code uh, this uh, you can download the source code from here and open it into your visual studio also you can add it to uh, your repository for having uh, the continuous integration uh, just click on channels so as of now as you know it could it's running in over Skype and web chat it could be added to Cortana Bing telegram Skype for business and on so let's click on this web chat 
edit so here we can get an embedded code to get it into our application let's copy this let's click on show secret key copy this key and paste it in this embedded URL over here okay copy this entire URL so I've already created a uh, small application with one HTML file and I've added into github uh, let's quickly edit this this was the iframe URL I just copied the source with adding the key that's it let's commit it so that it could get deployed I have created an um, okay so I have already created an uh, FAQ bot web app wherein I have added uh, as a deployment option uh, the github source uh, where I up just updated the code so that it could get deployed as soon as it's commit the changes and uh, let's quickly go to that url okay so now i'm in that url faq bot and this is the html page wherein i just checked in through github i've added this source as an iframe over here so this is our web chat now let's check the c sharp corner faq bot hello so here it is hello welcome to c sharp corner let's see who is the founder Mr. Mahesh Chan, visit his profile page. Page. Let's click on this. Great, it's working. Um, who created this bot? Great, I'm Kasim Sheikh. So, as you can see, in less than 12 minutes or 12 to 13 minutes, we created our a fresh FAQ bot with the help of QA Maker and Azure Bot Service uh, for our uh, one of the favorite uh, website, uh, technical community website, C Sharp Corner. And it, it is as simple as that. So I've, uh, uh, I purposely created this video so that once you go through my article step by step, you can also view uh, a live uh, sort of demo like how the things work. So hope you have enjoyed this video. I uh, would request you or would recommend you to give a try to create such a bot for your com organization website or your own blog websites and uh, let's just dive in to get more from it. So hope uh, kindly like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Happy Azure coding.